Well, I want to show you. Uh, I want to show you one other thing that you can do uh, with the with the beast. And you know, if you're familiar, you know that the beast has, comes with um, tent pole adapters, so you can add tent poles that we supply, or you can use your own tent poles or whatever, and you can actually plug them into the beast, and then throw a tarp over or whatever, and create your own shelter with the beast as the foundation for that. Now I believe that our PSTM might actually be the perfect size, not too big, not too little, for the beast. So today, and this is new to me too, I just wanted to try it, so I made, uh, so I had Shauna make us up a medium tarp out of Sil Poly, and uh, so it's really lightweight, 14 ounces. Uh, PSTM tarp, I'm going to use the ultralight tarp kit uh, to uh, hang everything up and all that sort of thing. But the sun's getting ready to go behind that mountain in just a little bit. And everything's going to change. Alright, so what I'm going to do is let this thing unroll. I think that I want to arrange it kind of like this. It's just a tiny bit higher up at that end. If I get too much this way, it starts to roll off. So I want to stay up here kind of on the higher range. Okay. This, uh, the beast comes with four straps, or adapters, really. And there's some D-rings on the beast. Four, uh, actually eight of them. Four on the sides that come out of the diagonal. And those, and those are used to to allow you to uh, adapt some tent poles. Whether you use our own tent poles or some you've got, they're very they're very adjustable. So you can probably make what you've got work. Okay, so here's the tent pole adapters. They just they just snap onto that D ring right there. They've got a, an adjuster here, so you can adjust the length. And then on the very end is a pocket that's sewn. And in that pocket is where you shove your, the ends, ends of your tent poles. And these are designed to go out in a diagonal, so, it makes a, so it'll make an X across the top. Now while I'm here, let me show you also, down both sides of the beast are these snaps and they're double sided. They're female on one side, they're male on the other. That way you can pretty much arrange your gear however you need to to work on this. So you look down on one side of the blanket there's a snap that's also double sided just like on the beast. So it gives you lots of options. And it's only down once one edge. What I like to do is this thing is this thing is longer than the beast is so I like to make it I'm going to sleep my head up here so I want to have so I want to snap this thing uh, down there like that I want to have some overhang on the foot end because I'm going to tuck that underneath the foot and that just kind of helps hold all that stuff in place. And now all your snaps may not always line up. It depends on which way you flipped it and all that sort of thing. But really, you know, three or four snaps. I usually get about four of them snapped. That's enough to hold everything in place. All right, so now just going to lift up this end of the beast. I'm just going to tuck that under. And I just usually leave this side kind of as is. If you want on the foot end, you could just fold that under. If you get tent poles from us, they're uh, Easton Aluminum tent poles. I used to be an engineer at Easton Aluminum many years ago, back in the 80s. And I love Easton products. Tent tubes was one of my, one of my areas in engineering, so. I'm kind of partial to them. <laughs> so, right, so I am going to start off 
on this end I'll stab that down in that pocket right there and I'll come down here and stab this one in that pocket there while I'm here I'll get this one into that little pocket and then come up here and finish it right right here and like I say these are all adjustable so so them being adjustable that means you can adjust how high they are how far they stick out there's a little uh, piece of uh, it's called uh, can't slip and it's uh, they put that on gloves and stuff sometimes it's to make them make it non slippery and uh, we want that on these poles mostly there we go. mostly in case of high winds so that everything kind of stays together okay now just like that there's the frame to it right there now the next thing is we'll throw our our tarp over top all right so here's the tarp PSTM ultra ultra light 14 ounces and uh, so PSTM that means it's eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet in size so and like I say this is the first time trying this over the beast with tent poles so we'll see how it looks. We literally just we literally just finished making the tarp about an hour before I left. <laughs> Alright, so so there we are basically. I could stake out the four corners and uh, and be just like that. Or I can, or I can cant it. Uh, what would that be? Forty-five degrees. All right. So, so there's the shelter. We are, we are totally covered um, with the PSTM, and there's a whole bunch of ways. That you could set this up I've been I've been thinking about them as I've been playing with this thing <laughs> so here's another thing right here a person could person could prop up this right here and then have that open that would be your that would be your way in and out right there and uh, that would work very nicely right there all right there's the uh, cover overhead and um, got plenty of room inside I'll show you put the camera down in there so here we are up inside of here plenty of room it's over my head and like I say you when know, I started out if I shorten these tent pole adjusters it will raise the center higher so if I want to have a higher center I just pull on those raise it up I'm good to go but you see look how much space I got in here put all kind of gear behind me backpack whatever I can put stuff out here in front of me I got plenty of room in here uh, so this makes a very nice cover So this is the beast With the tent pole adapters and they come with the beast. I've added the optional tent poles Like you can get them from us or you can buy our eastern you can buy our eastern poles or use your own and uh, 
then I've thrown a, this tarp over top and this is a this is a, a lightweight one this uh, this is a sil poly one but you could any of our any of our tarps will work fine and uh, I think this is is the best fit this is a PSTM eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet square okay now you can see I've turned the blanket around the top quilt and uh, so I snapped it on the other side the foot's down here I've tucked the foot in and now one thing people ask sometimes is you know don't I need a cover for the beast and no the the cover that's on there is fine I mean you could add one if you want but the, the mesh cov cover that's on there is designed to work with it it's really the best thing to have on there and I just lay right on that it's very comfortable very breathable and uh, and all that so all you need is covers on top of you. you don't need anything underneath you but anyway just like this is great uh, just with this Osni cloak and the beast under me you know I'm probably good down in the down in the teens or so maybe lower just like this if I threw my survival blanket on top you know I can go below zero but this is very comfortable like this and if it's very cold I just put it over my head I just put it over my head like that so that way I'm all inside I warm up the whole inside of here to like room temperature I get it gets around 70 degrees in here and then it's just like being at home laying in your own bed so this is our PSTM tarp eight and a half feet by eight and a half feet. Any of our PSTM tarps are same size, will work the same way. This one happens to be a Sil Poly one that I just made up just for kicks. I really like it, it's 14 ounces. And my, my plan here is using the ultralight tarp kit for it for the stakes and the cordage and all that. What, that like, so that's like three ounces.